welcome back to my channel. Today I have a little haul for you guys. Last weekend Julio took us away for the weekend and I just did a little shopping. I didn't go too crazy like I normally do. It was just a, a little unexpected road trip which was nice and I went to TJ Maxx, Ulta, Target, and Sephora. So I'm going to share with you guys what I picked up. Target. I didn't get any makeup at Target. I actually went to the clearance section in their clothing department and I found two bathing suit tops. That's all I got but I'm going to share with you guys which ones I bought. I love bathing suits you guys. I'm obsessed with them. I grew up in California and I lived in Vegas for eight years. I love the heat. I love swimming, the pool, the beach, the lake. I love it all. And I just, I have so many bathing suits. I actually love to buy different color tops and mix them with my bottoms and just make my own bathing suit. So I picked up two tops. How cute is this one, you guys? This one is olive green and it has a little punch of baby pink on it. It's just, it's so cute. This is more of a structured top. It does have the little tie strap at the top. And then in the back, it just has one of these little clasp things. I'm not really sure what you call it. It has padding. It has underwire. I really love that. It's going to support, you know, the boobies and everything. You guys know I love olive green. And then this cute little texture right here, kind of like a netting pattern, is just, it's really nice. I got this one on clearance for $8.98. It was originally $17.99. And I feel like... $8.98 might be a little expensive for some people, but this bathing suit top is actually very well made. It feels very nice, and I didn't mind spending almost $9 on a top just because I feel like I'm going to get a lot of use out of this. I can interchange it with a lot of my other bottoms that I have, and I just really love it. The other one that I got, this one is less structured. It does have some padding in it, but this is what it looks like right here. It's more of a little triangle. And this one is like a soft material. I, I freaking love the print. It has olive green. It's like the leaves are olive green. It has oranges and kind of like grapefruit or just lemons. I'm not really sure. But this is the print. Hopefully you guys can see this okay. It's just so nice and cute. I thought it was really cute. I love this thick band right here. And then it also has one of these little clasps in the back. It is adjustable. So I can go ahead and adjust the straps. This one was more affordable. This one was only $4.48, originally $14.99. They had so many freaking bathing suits on clearance, you guys. It was insane. Definitely hit up your local Target, you guys. They had so much clothes. I almost bought some clothes, but since I just bought a ton of clothes like two months ago, I was like, nope, I would rather just get some swimsuit tops. And I just think these are going to be so versatile for me. And I'm obsessed. I got both of both of the tops in an extra large. I'm really happy with those two, so let's move on to the next store. I'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys what I got at TJ Maxx. I do have a follow me around what I found at TJ Maxx type of video coming up. I think that's the one I'm gonna upload after this. You guys are gonna see all the goodies that I found at my TJ Maxx, but I did only pick up three things. I didn't do a whole bunch of shopping. I just, I bought what caught my eye. So the first thing I picked up, actually, I didn't show in that video because it's not makeup, but this is called My Magic Mud Whitening Toothpaste. Cleans, polishes, and whitens your teeth. Activated charcoal fluoride free toothpaste and it's cinnamon clove. I only paid $7.99 and it retails for $10. Now the next two things are makeup related. First makeup product I picked up is from Lorac. It's this tantalizer baked bronzer matte tan. So this is what it looks like. Okay, pop it out of the packaging. This was $7.99. And it retails for $12 is what it says. I don't think it retails for $12. I feel like Lorac products are not $12. But whatever, you know, I paid $7.99. And this is what it looks like right here. Let me see if I can open it for you guys. And if you guys hear Nathan, you already know the drill. He's pretty much always in here with me when I'm filming. So I picked this up. I love bronzers. And then I picked up this Stila Eyes Are The Window Shadow Palette. For $7.99, you guys, these shades just scream spring and summer to me, especially this really pretty, like, peachy color and this bright blue right here. 
Oh, they're just so beautiful. So that's all I got from TJ Maxx. I told you guys, I didn't buy a lot. Next store I'm going to talk about is Ulta. I specifically went to Ulta for the Ambreezy highlighter. And if you guys follow me on Twitter, you guys already know what happened there. <laughs> so I didn't find the Amreezy highlighter. But I did pick up four things from Ulta. I picked up a backup of the Makeup Revolution concealer. I, I bought the shade C1. I actually own C2, but I wanted to pick up C1. And I kind of want to compare the shades and see which one I like better. I picked up an Ulta Beauty brush, you guys. This was on clearance. For only $3.97, originally $16, and this is the Ulta Beauty Highlighting Brush, but it looks like a dual fiber brush, and I won one of their uh, powder brushes in a giveaway like a month or two ago, I think it was a month ago, and I loved the handle of it, so when I saw this one there, I just knew that I wanted to pick it up. I picked up some Eyelore Lashes. I've never tried this style before. These are the number 109. And they're just really pretty. They're fluttery. They're a little bit voluminous looking. I love Eyelore Lashes. These were only like 5 bucks, so I picked these up. Last thing I picked up from Ulta is this Formula 1006 Total Takeaway Skin Purifying Mud Mask. That is a long name. But this is what it looks like, you guys. I'm a huge fan of their products. And I decided to give it a try. It sounded really good. A purifying bubble mask like who doesn't want that that was everything I picked up from Ulta now let's talk about Sephora you guys get this tissue paper out so let me show you guys the samples I picked up I actually got a sample of the bum bum cream and I got two face powder samples I got the Too Faced peach perfect and the Marc Jacobs finish line I think is what it's called and I did pick up two things from Sephora I ended up finding the Amrezy highlighter at Sephora, so I was so freaking excited and so happy. I'm sure you guys already know what this looks like, but how beautiful is this packaging? Oh, you guys, that's beautiful. It is just gorgeous. And the last product I picked up is from Fenty Beauty. I picked up the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. You guys, I put this on my hand. And I contemplated picking this up or getting a sample and I just I had to pick it up it left my hand so smooth and soft the foundation did not work for me but I'm hoping that this primer does it's so beautiful I'm obsessed with this packaging and I cannot wait to use it and that's it you guys I'm done with my haul I hope you enjoyed watching seeing what I picked up this past weekend please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are not already I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in my next video bye guys